starts now. After weeks of testimony, the jury has the case on the trial of the King Super shooting. Thanks for being with us. I'm Karen Lee. And I'm Michael Spencer. Survivors, first responders, and mental health experts have taken to the witness stand over the last couple of weeks, testifying to their experiences that day on March of 2021 when Ahmad Alyssa went into the King Supers and killed 10 people. The jury must determine whether Alyssa was sane at the time of that shooting. They heard closing arguments earlier this morning. Your reporter Karen Morfitt joins us live from Boulder tonight. Karen, jurors have heard very emotional testimony in this case. Yeah, for several weeks, they've heard that emotional testimony. They've also had to watch heartbreaking surveillance video from inside the King Supers that day. They've listened to 911 audio tapes that include gunfire from that day. And then today, they listened to hours of intense closing arguments about the mental state of that suspect. Jurors have one question left to answer as they deliberate the fate of Ahmad Alyssa. Was he insane at the time of the shooting? The prosecution didn't dispute that the defendant suffers from schizophrenia. You have to find that that mental disease or defect made him incapable of distinguishing right from wrong. In closing arguments, they pointed to months of deliberate planning and preparation as well as statements the defendant made about how he wanted that day to end, arguing he did know right from wrong. I did not want to go to jail. There is nothing in this case that speaks louder to being able, to being capable of distinguishing right from wrong than knowing he was going to go to jail if he didn't die in a shootout with the cops. The defense then making a passionate plea about the impact that mental illness had on the defendant, saying it had grown so severe, it ultimately led him randomly to the Boulder King Supers three years ago. Yelling voices are killing voices. Kill, 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 kill. Speaking directly to the jury, Alyssa's attorney urged them to leave emotions out of their decision. A verdict of not guilty by reason of insanity is not saying he's innocent. You're not saying he's getting away with it. What you are saying is that his mental illness, his schizophrenia, prevented him from knowing right from wrong. Ultimately, the jury will have to decide whether or not he knew right from wrong. They had two hours of deliberations today once they got that case. They, uh, we anticipate that they left at 5 o'clock as planned and will return Monday morning to begin again. We're live in Boulder tonight. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado first. All right, Karen, thank you. The weather has been